Okay, so let's uh, get to get started with uh, what is DevOps. Okay, so before even starting to understand DevOps, right, we need to look at uh, uh, what is what what generally happens when a software is developed, right? A typical software development uh, involves, you know, a, a bit of development work. Sorry. Okay, a bit of development work uh, where we do a design of, of the application. We, we, we do the architecture design, understand how to write, how to develop the code and go ahead and do the coding, which includes unit testing. A unit testing is wherein, you know, we test our code, whether, whether it works as expected when everything is passed in a, in a particular format, right? So, uh, so that a typical development involves design, coding and unit testing. And then you have another set of phase where we have we do testing, where uh, the oral application is tested with respect to with the manual testing or automation. Nowadays we use automation testing, and then you know before you do you do any test you do have to have a strategy on what scenarios to test and and come up with the various uh, data to test your applications and everything. So so after development, we do uh, testing, which uh, closely ensures the application works, works as expected. And then in order to test your application, you need to have uh, an op kind of various operations done, which is basically on deploying your applications outside your development box. And after you deploy, you monitor it to see whether it works as expected. Do you see any errors, exceptions? And, and in order to deploy your application, you need to have infrastructure. It might it might be your, you know, it might be a VM or it might be your own server which you have or any any infrastructure where the application runs, right? So an operations operation involves setting up the infrastructure and maintaining the infrastructure required for the application to run, deploying the application and verifying whether everything works, and then you know monitoring it for any exception or errors. So with these three uh, kind of stages of development, testing, and 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 operations that that we do, uh, DevOps acts as a as a uh, combination of all three, where uh, a, a part of DevOps, a part of QA, and operations together come come up with uh, processes called of what DevOps. Right now, in, in case of a DevOps, you know, you, you even in DevOps, you do coding development and then you automate the overall operations part of it, uh, which includes your uh, unit testing, executing unit test cases when you write a code, uh, when you and, and validating the application after you deploy onto the onto the infrastructure, and how do you create your infrastructure itself, right? So everything is automated using uh, various processes. And DevOps uh, is basically you uh, know uh, groups all the operations that we do across three stages into one. Okay, so that's uh, that's you know uh, a, a very a very simple way of saying you know what is DevOps and and if you all are are from the uh, have some experience on the software then. You 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 would be part of one of these three teams at this point. Either you you will be a developer, you will be a tester, or you will be a part of your operations team. So so DevOps will help has lot of tools, uh, multiple platforms, multiple tools, which will help you to automate your overall development process and del and and do a faster delivery of the applications. Uh, 